Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to talk about the products that I pulled in last week's make the Sample Sunday series. So the first product is the Diva Curl No Poo Shampoo. Like this is No Poo Zero Lather Conditioning Cleanser. It's not a shampoo. So this stuff is really good if you do have curly hair. I have naturally like wavy hair. I put this in my hair last night and I tried it out in my hair today. Actually, these are the waves that it gave me naturally and without putting any product in it. So this is nothing in my hair whatsoever. I really like this. This is very nice. I can see if you had really curly hair that this would be very helpful. It kind of tames it down. It smells really good. So I really did enjoy this. The next thing is the Bamboo Oil by Hask. This is the strengthening shampoo and strengthening conditioner. I love the Hask products. I think they smell very, very good. And because it has an oil into it, like a bamboo oil is what they call it, I really think it does help my hair so that it doesn't look so bushy and wiry. So I really like their product line. I did enjoy this one, so I would consider purchasing it. The Diva Curl, I probably wouldn't purchase just because I don't have super curly hair. But this one here, I would purchase because it makes my hair look very sleek and straight. The next thing is the Ulta Beauty Essentials. This is the six piece eyeshadow palette. I don't like this at all. This is not good for me at all. Like there's only one matte shade in here. The rest of these are like shimmers and this one's like a satin. This I couldn't really get it to work very well for me. So this is not a palette that I did enjoy. This is something I'm actually going to actually pass on to someone else to see if maybe they enjoy it because I don't like a, a palette that only has like one matte shadow then I have to pull in some of the other palettes I like my palettes to be kind of complete by themselves and I know this is a tiny one but for me this is just a no as far as the way that the pal the eyeshadows wore and everything they did wear pretty well and they went on pretty well but they weren't like the best quality ever so I wouldn't recommend trying to get these little ones like this I know this was like a freebie but it wasn't my favorite that's for sure the next thing is the herbal essence body wash hello hydration this smells absolutely amazing Oh my gosh, I felt like, do you guys remember those commercials from the um, Herbal Essence commercials where the woman's like in the shower and she's like sounding like she's having the big O or whatever? That's how I felt when I was in the shower. It smells so good. It's like very invigorating. Love the way this smells. This one here is supposed to be with, has supposed to have coconut extract in it. I don't really smell the coconut, but it just smells very fresh and fruity. I love this. I definitely would consider purchasing another one or a full size of that. This thing is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. I didn't even, did not even try this, I'll be honest with you. I was given some warnings not to really try it, so I was like, I'm not going to try it then because I don't really want to damage my skin and I don't want to also look orange. Some people were saying that they had a hard time getting it to work and I, I you guys know I suck at self tanner, so I'm not even going to attempt it because I don't need to be streaky orange. I don't need to look like a tiger or anything, so unfortunately I can't give you a review on this. The next thing is the, oh, we got a few more things in here. The next thing is the Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. This stuff is amazing. I love the Corez line. I think their stuff smells very, very good. It definitely smells like rose. So if you enjoy the rose scent, you would love this. I think it's a really good mask. I probably wouldn't purchase the full size because I have other masks that I enjoy a little bit more. But this one here, you're supposed to put it on and leave it on all night. It's like, a, not really a mask. It's more like a, um, just a, a cream like a, a moisturizer but it definitely did help the next morning I noticed my skin didn't break out or anything you, I don't know if you guys can tell but my skin's actually actually behaving right now so it makes me happy so this didn't break me out or anything so that made me happy as well the next thing is the Ulta Beauty this is the brow tint in medium I don't like the shade of this the shade of this does not work for me it looks like greenish I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but it looks greenish. And I'm like, what the heck? Why would you want green in your eyebrows? That just did not work for me whatsoever. I don't know why they made it that shade. It just, no. And it's a very wet, goopy formula. So for me, this is just a pass. The next thing is the Ahave Dead Sea Awesome Meter Concentrate Moisture Radiance and Boosting Serum. I didn't notice a difference with this whatsoever. So for me, this was just a, mm. I could have, I've had way better serums, that's for sure. And a serum is like the most effective part of your, your, your skincare. And for me, this like did nothing. I was like, I don't really see any kind of difference. It didn't really have any kind of feel to it. Like, and not like feel like it didn't have any kind of, um, moisturization type of properties. It feels just very, like it sinks in very quickly, like which a serum should, but it should also make your skin feel moisturized. And this didn't do that at all. So nah. And then I do have the two perfumes that I tried this past week. I have the Lady Gaga Thame. This smells really, really good. If you like any kind of more mm, 
like sexier scents you're gonna like this and it's a little bit affordable I'm like I think it's a more on the f affordable side so I would consider purchasing a full size of that but I need to start looking into more cruelty free type of products that are for perfumes then we have the clean warm cotton this one smells really really good it definitely smells like fresh laundry that's what it reminds me of it reminds me of like you just wash some laundry and you pulled it out and you're just throwing it on do you guys ever do that like as soon as you get a sweater out of the dryer you throw it on and that just feels so good and smells so good so that's what it reminded me of just pulling a sweater out of the dryer and throwing it on now let's go ahead and pull our samples for this week that was everything from last week so we've got our skincare samples here so I need to pull two out of three out of here so the first one is the belief true cream aqua bomb you guys know I love the moisturizing bomb so we'll have to test that out and see if maybe I've changed my mind now because I know I used to not like the aqua bomb the next thing ooh, this is big we have the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil and Be Joyful, which is a vanilla apricot. Ooh, this is not for your, this is more for your body, but whatever. So we'll try that out. And then we've got Kate Somerville. This is the anti-aging for sensitive skin. This is the Asia Rest one. So I'm excited to try that. I love Kate Somerville. Kate Somerville has some really amazing products. I think her line is one of my favorites as far as skincare goes because she, I don't know. I have a lot of favorite lines for skincare. There's Sunday Riley. There's Kate Somerville. I think there's some really amazing skincare lines. They're all really expensive. Though. That's the problem. Now let's go ahead and pull our hair care samples. Is this hair care? Uh, I don't even know. This is body care. <laughs> pulled two out of the body care samples. <laughs> so we have the Dove Purely Pampering Nourishing Body Wash. Ooh, I love Dove Body Wash. I do have a Dove Body Wash in my shower right now that smells horrendous. It smells like stink bugs. If you guys live anywhere near where there are stink bugs, it, that's what it smells like. Ugh, it's gross. The next one is the Elemis. This, so this is the one that our spa gave us when we were on the boat. This is the Elemis Revitalize Me Hand and Body Lotion. So I'm going to try that out. Elemis, I know, is a very expensive line because they tried to sell us a bunch of products from this line and it was very pricey and I was like, um, no. Thanks, but we'll try it. The next basket is the makeup basket. So I'm going to pull two out of here. So we've got... Ooh, we've got the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover. This is a primer, I'm pretty sure. I think this is the one I own the full size of. Yes, I do own the full size of that, so I'm not even going to try that. I'm going to set that aside to, to pass along to somebody. Then we've got, oops, oh my gosh, I'm throwing them all over the place. What is this? What in the world? Is that even a sample? Yes, it is. So this is the L'Oreal New Infallible Lip Paints. So there must have been a coupon on here, and I pulled it off. So there are three different shades here to try out. You've got... Nude Star, Fearless Fuchsia, and Sultry Sangria. So I'm excited to try those. Now let's pull one more makeup sample. The next one is, ooh, this is Clinique. So we have the Clinique B.I.Y. Blend It Yourself Pigment Drops. That's funny, B.I.Y. So there's a little drops here. Oh no, what is this? How do you work this? So there's a little container and then there's three different things here. So it's a sheer coverage one drop. Uh, medium coverage two of these and then fuller coverage three of these I don't I don't have any idea how this is gonna work so I'm gonna have to figure that out that looks complicated that looks like a lot of work that's what that looks like now let's move on to the hair care basket oh I think this is hair care I don't even know anymore my baskets I feel like I'm confused this week yeah so we're in the hair care basket now so we've got the first product is something by Eva NYC so this is the purse perfect hair towelettes so there's two of them in here, so I'll try those and see how they work. My hair, you guys know, is very, very frizzy, so hopefully they'll work good for me. And then the next one is, ooh, we got something in a packet. So we've got the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. Which one did we try last week? Oh, the No Poo. Ooh, so we have something different from Diva Curl, so I'm excited to try this out and see how good that is. The last little products that we're going to pull from to this week is our perfume and I had to set it on the floor my counter's full so I'm gonna pull two perfume samples out of here so the first one is the Sunday Joya by Giorgio Armani and I own a full size on this so I'm not even gonna sample that because I know that smells absolutely amazing I've, obviously I purchased a full size the next one is Dolce & Gabbana Rose Exlixia Ooh, that sounds really good I love anything rose scented so and the last sample is um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. Roth. <laughs> I said that wrong. I'll have to try that out again. I know I used to like the scent of that, but I'm, it's been a while since I've tried that. So my sense, I don't know about you guys, but like 
one day a fragrance might smell absolutely amazing to me the next day I'm like gosh I don't want that perfume at all I think that's why I have such a massive amount of perfume because one day it works for me the next day I'm like no I don't I want to wear something different anyway so those are all the products I'm going to be using this week I'd love to know if you're doing sample Sunday along with me and what samples you pulled for this week and how did they work for you and then what are you going to be using for the upcoming week thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later